let's get the Vegas side of things now. Sports betting analyst Doug Kazarian joins us here from Vegas. What's your favorite bet for tonight's game? It's the last game of week one, Clemson, Georgia Tech. You know, I'm going to focus on the under in this game, and it's because of what Sam was just talking about, the question marks at offense. And I'm going to go DJU as well. I was just DJ <laughs> before, but we'll go DJU. No, he says he's going to have a big season, lost 30 pounds. Hopefully he's right, but let's just talk about this Clemson offense. It's not going to be this big strike offense, and more so Georgia Tech's just anemic on offense. It's not really on the same level. That's why we have such a big point spread in the game. But I like the first half under because as we saw last night and really over the weekend, these high profile primetime games on these neutral site defenses are flying around. Everyone's coming out more intense. And I just think after the sec after the halftime, the things calm down a little bit. And then also coaches, especially in Georgia Tech situation, if they're down a lot, more inclined to go for it on fourth down, things like that, the game can get away from them. So I like the first half under tonight. Yeah, especially if that defense of Clemson steps up like they did last year where they held opponents to under 15 points per game that trailed only Georgia. Let's look ahead to week two in college football. Some of your favorite bets as we get set for next weekend, Doug. Yeah, there's already been lines posted for next weekend. Already seen some movement given some professional and respected bets that have come in. But I want to start in Pittsburgh. We all saw the backyard brawl, the epic ending. I like Tennessee to go in there and cover by more than a touchdown. It's a lot to ask. Pitt, historically, in these types of matchups, have gotten some breaks, found ways to even win, let alone cover. But I think just too much talent with what Josh Heupel's done down there in Tennessee. He's brought in the right guys, got his quarterback hooker returning, and I just think they're so explosive. It will be a little bit more difficult than the opener was against Ball State, but I still think Tennessee's offense, just so potent, will cover the number here. I'm liking Vanderbilt here, plus the touchdown. Just not a lot of respect for an SEC team against an ACC team that doesn't have Sam Hartman. Yes, the backup looked good in the re in replacement situation, but that was against an inferior opponent. Vanderbilt is a legit SEC team early in the season. They just don't have the depth. Later in the season, they won't be that strong, but I like Vandy getting the full touchdown here at home. Another game that caught my eye was Ohio and Penn State. Now, the Bobcats were just involved in a game that had nearly 80 points. They're willing to sling the ball around with Rourke and their defense a little suspect. And I think Penn State's going to have a better showing. They got the comeback win against Purdue, but I think their offense is looking to hang 40-plus in Happy Valley against a suspect Ohio defense. So I think we're going to see 40-plus, and Ohio will get enough offense as well. So I like the over in that one in Happy Valley. It helps that their quarterback, Penn State's in his sixth year. He's got a little experience. Doug Kazeri. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.